Hi everybody, back again. As per this morning that I had told you, I explained to you about the reservation tickets sales that are going on. Uh, I was up, not kidding, I, I get up and I cook on Monday mornings anyway. I cook uh, gravy. Um, and the thing is, is that I was up at about 6 a.m. And I started going on this process at about 6.30 as per my last video. So, I mean, I hopped on, not even thinking, just, you know, my trip is for December. But the thing that kills me is that I managed to get on for a few minutes onto my actual page so that I could see. My December trip, they took away my tickets as far as the park hoppers that I had for December. I'm only going from December 8th to the 11th. That's all I'm going. A lousy what? Three and a half days. Four days. We get down there the 8th. We leave on the 11th. Come home. That's it. You know. The thing is, is that now I'm still hanging with this little pink castle again. I actually got so angry before I got off of it. I signed off. I had to, I had to get the hell away. I had to, like, walk away. Made myself an English muffin with my new toaster and everything. Okay, fine. So I'm back here again. Just to... Just for the hell of it. Now I can't get back in again. The thing is that I noticed that my Paul Copper passes, my Paul Copper tickets is gone. As of now, as I'm standing, I can't even make to purchase my ticket package in order to make a reservation to get into the park. So how do you explain that one? What Disney should have did was leave the damn tickets alone. Then when they updated the system, to update the system automatically, then they should have just updated everybody's account and then said, you now have park tickets, take the park hoppers off, but leave the tickets up. Now notify those people to make the reservation to get into the parks. They should have just left it alone. So now they pulled everything and they scrapped it only for us to be more aggravated because I can't even get in, like I said, to buy my tickets in order to make a park reservation. You need a, you need a valid ticket. I can't even get in. What the hell is going on with you people? You can't make this shit up. You just can't. A lot of people right now, I went on social media, they're all having problems, but a lot of them did make their reservations. Um, you go on Walt Disney World News today, they have their um, YouTube video up. You will see how the steps go. They give you step-by-step -step in making the park reservations. Okay, fine. I still can't get in to buy my damn ticket package. So... What do we do? Wait, cancel. Wait, cancel. I guarantee you, it doesn't look good for me right now. It doesn't look good. I'll be very surprised if my Disney trip in December actually happens. Uh, right now, I don't see it happening. Oh, the phone number. The phone number to call to make the reservations and to, to do your existing, your existing resort reservations. One. 407-939-1936. When you call this number, that's another joke. An automated recording comes on. It says, due to high call volume, we cannot, you know, we cannot speak with you right now. This is a recording. Call back later, and they hang up on you. So we can forget that one. Either they don't want to take responsibility, and they're just throwing everybody to the wolves. It's just like, throw the tickets on the floor, let everybody die for them. That's basically what they're doing. I think this sucks. This absolutely sucks. I am not going to sit here. As a matter of fact, I'm getting the hell out of here. I mean, you know, we have better things to do. That's it. Goodbye. We have better things to do. I have better things to do with my time than to sit here all day with a computer. I just, I can't do it. Okay. Let me know your situations. Let me know what you're going through. Some of you just got tickets? Yeah, but... You know, today was the day to actually, if you have a resort reservation and valid reservations for a resort, you could make your uh, park reservations to get into the parks today. And that was today. I think the 26th is the park pass, uh, the uh, park hopper passes, the uh, park hopper people. 
not park hopper people, um, the pass holder, excuse me, pass holder people can make their, their resort, non-ticketed resort reservations, they can actually make to get into the park. It's very confusing. It's a very confusing system. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. And I, I'll be honest with you, if this sticks, this may be an all the time thing because you know Disney has an angle when they do things. It's an all the it's an all it's an all the time thing. I, I guarantee you they're gonna they're gonna they, oh well, we got very good uh, reception as far as reviews are concerned, which you're full of crap right there because nobody's really gonna like this. It's impossible. I don't like it. And if I have to do something else better with my time to pick some other place to go on vacation, so be it. You know. It's a shame. My husband works once a year. You know, my husband works all year. He gets a vacation once a year, and this was it. So this is very, this was very important to him, as as opposed to other people who just can't take time off and just do pick a day just because Disney says, oh, you know, you can't come down now, but you could come down this and you could come down here, and we're gonna. It's ridiculous. All right, people. <sighs> okay. Love to all. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.